Hey all, and welcome back to another Seven Days to Die. Um, went ahead and remembered to change my settings. We're down to a 40-minute, 24-hour cycle with 35% of that being night. Uh, they came out with a hotfix, and the hotfix said that it was a non-game-breaking hotfix. Supposedly there's, uh, they did something to fix uh, lag issues or something like that. So, we'll find out. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Uh, it's been a couple of days. I've had some real life issues that we've been taking care of since I did any kind of video recording. And so, bear with me while I take a look around at things to see where I'm at. Looks like we got first aid kits, first aid stuff. Alright, we got drinkables and stuff to make drinkables. see empty jars anywhere, but I'll look at other stuff here in a little bit. Edibles. We don't need 12 of those suckers on or 24 of those on us, so we'll take some of those off. Alright, we got the standard supplies in there. We don't need all that iron, but we'll take care of that in a minute. That is Phoenix's bed, so we'll leave that there just in case he decides to join me sometime. Uh, cloth, leather, some building materials. Tree seeds, flowers. Right, plenty of wood, frames, extra trips. Let's see what we got for ammo. I got plenty of ammo on me. Take a little bit more. We'll need to be making some more here pretty quick. Nothing in that one because that was going to be assembled to guns, I believe. We got some weapons there. Okay, explosives. Uh, stuff to make ammo. Brass furnace, lead furnace. Iron furnace. Dirt, stone, gravel, tools. 1734 at night. Let's go take a look at our farm. I think my last video on Seven Days to Die, I looked at it briefly on YouTube, was uh, me getting the farm set up and ready to go. So let's go see how things are looking up here. This does look a lot better with this wood wall up here and the stairs, and we'll continue adding to that. All right, so we got goldenrod, we got coffee growing, we got cotton growing, and we got some corn growing. Nothing's ready yet. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. I've been offered a couple of challenges. One challenge was uh, from Claudia, uh, one of the subscribers. Uh, she wants to see a winter biome build, which it'll come, but I said probably not until I get this close to finished or finished, just depending on what I decide to do with it. Somebody uh, else, and I'd have to look at my comments, I think it was Draconis Rex, wants me to take over one of the buildings in the hub city, which I'm shivering, shivering in uncontrollable fear at doing, but I will do it, because I can. I just don't want to, but I will. Alright, um, we've got a lot of the books. We've went to the hub city. We don't have the whole thing done, but I think what I don't have mapped out, Phoenix had mapped out. We got the old west town down here. We've got a plains biome, but we've got corn growing. So we've got our biome. Before we do major exploring, we've still got our biome to explore out. So I think, what am I going to do today? What, 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 what? I know one thought that had struck my head is I wanted to extend this out and put up some columns to support it. And I thought about using cobblestone and building cobblestone walls all the way around this. Just for looks. Not that there's a need to, but just for looks. And then another thing I want to do is dig uh, straight down so we have access to our mine underneath us. Let's go take a look. I did this off camera, I believe. 
I upgraded all the spikes and I walled up the entrance up here so we didn't have to worry about zombies getting down in there no more. So let me see where this is at. This is even with the garden. And if I zoom in, can I see exactly on the map? No. Even with garden and in. Let's do that. Let's go build an entrance today. Let's go build an entrance to the mine. And depending on what kind of time we have after that, maybe a uh, way in and out of the base so we can get rid of this ladder, put up a couple more uh, trussing or rebar frames and some spikes and get that totally in. And then we'll use this as our in and out to the base. And then before I also forget, I need to get my timer going. So bear with me for just a minute while I do that. I've also turned my game sound down. I noticed when I did that playing with the power tools last time that, uh, man, I was doing the chainsaw, and especially at auger, it was so damn loud you could barely even hear it. You couldn't hear what I was saying at all. So I adjusted the volume, and hopefully that'll uh, fix things. All right, timer's going. I've got my son's old mo headset and mic, and uh, this is the first time I'm using that, so I'm hoping that uh, everything comes out to uh, sounding okay on that. Might even cut down on some of my breathing that you guys were able to hear out of my cheap Walmart mic. I don't know. We'll find out. Because I think these were $80, $80 or $90 headsets that he had. Alright, we need to repair some stuff up. We'll get this done and taken care of. There we go. And those use metal strips also. We'll get that taken care of. So, the mine was about even. Alright, so I can see the wood right there. And I don't remember how far back it went, but... Alright, where's this put me? Alright, so let's do this then. We'll go straight down right here. Sure, I got stuff on. Yeah, I got stuff on me to make ladders. Going down two. Better uh, go take a rough guess at how many blocks we got to go down. Just to get to the mine, anyway. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, let's see, one, two, three, come on, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. About eight blocks. Good enough guess. Nineteen forty-five at night. I'm gonna have to try to keep remembering to uh, remind myself that uh, I changed the time frame on here. I have to start doing things a little bit quicker. That was three. Eight, 
we'll, I think we'll do an even 10. Nine. Ten. And of course now we have company. See if I can get out of here. Can't get out of here quite yet, so. Fix this ladder system later. Let's go take care of some unwanted company. Ah, oh, they're going to take care of themselves. Somebody told me you could shoot through rebar with guns, but not the crossbow. Alright, now you guys behave yourselves. Uh, we need our mining helmet. Spiders do spawn up here. And we're going to leave that furnace running. I mean, I'm not afraid of no zombies spawning. Oh, you know what? Let's do something else. Ow, ow, okay, yeah, that hurt. We need to make this easier to get up. So we might as well. Alright, takes care of that one. so we don't have to fight and start to get up that damn ladder. Didn't take too long here. nightfall and time is sped up. We got a 35% night. spider that's going to call in a horde. But, they're going to take care of themselves on our spikes. We're not going to worry about them tonight. Are we pretty level? 
We are pretty level. Alright, so. Let's go this way a little bit. Daylight hits, we'll go up and we'll take a look at the spikes too. Um, upgraded ones with the wood and not metal yet. We'll, I'll show you exactly how much damage they do or don't take. For those of you that haven't seen the 14 day horde damage one. Alright, let's uh, take this out. Day five, I just noticed that on this map too. So day seven's gonna get us pretty damn cool. So I think that's one thing I'm gonna want to do is make sure that I get some metal and uh, get those spikes upgraded the rest of the way. So did that. Okay, so that took care of that. Now this is probably gonna take this ladder out, but that's okay because we'll put wood frames in there. I can. Hey, who knows? We might leave that there and see how long it lasts. All right, let's do a little bit more mining here at night. For now, I'm not going to use the auger. Not at night. <laughs> he calls in that company. <coughs> yeah, I know somebody was already saying, get the auger, get the auger. Not going to happen. At this time of juncture, that was a piss before impersonation. Nice and quiet out there, except for us beating on rocks. The little spikes did their job. Took care of those nasty neighbors.
straight, but it looks like it might be hard. We got a lot of gravel in this little juncture here. Spider out there calling company in. Let's repair our pickaxe back up. And look at that, we're breaking into our other mine. Okay, that's kind of what I'd wanted to do. So. Goal one for this video, success. We're gonna do some work with concrete too. So. Of course, I need. I think we need concrete or cement uh, for cobblestones, anyway. 6:26. It's almost morning time. So this goal is done, and then uh, once we get this taken care of, next thing that we're going to be working on is uh, our entrance in and out, and getting rid of the ladder and the log spikes. ramp. And that just looks funky sitting there. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Let's upgrade these frames. all this stuff later. Oh wow, how far down did I go? Alright. So, we gotta figure out where we want to come out at. Hmm, do we want a water entrance exit? Because if so, then we would come straight out over in this general area. And I don't think that I want one that's in the middle of the lake. Or do I? Somebody told me something. I don't remember what video I was watching. If you face directly northeast, south, or west, when you start mining, he said that it is easier to get started to get that straight line. So if we're here and we go directly east, that's going to put us there at that corner. So 
So if we come all the way over here. North is going to come out that way. West is over there. So it doesn't look like we're positioned quite right. But we could still maybe... Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll have our mine over there. And... I'm going to get this started and then I'm going to go up and get the auger. We'll have our mine over there and we'll have our entrance uh, in and out to the base over here. I want to go three high. We got the auger. We're going to use it. I'm not too scared. We got the spikes that are taking care of the zombies, so we're not worried about that either. You guys just keep walking around down there. Auger. Uh, I don't know how much gas we're going to need, but we'll take that much with us. Take it all with us. The veggies in the farm are still growing anyway. Alright, away we go. It's going to give us lots of stuff. That's what was going to happen. Alright, so let's fix this. And it looks like to end up in the middle of the lake where I want to go, we're going to go right directly towards the waypoint there. Probably put that little triangle, if you can see, this little triangle right here, and go directly towards that little triangle. That'll put us out in the middle of the lake. So, let's block this in. There goes my timer. We'll ignore that here for just a few more minutes. Let's go down about six blocks, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. So, let's see what's right here. Let's light this up. Here's what we got. Now, we're not really too, I mean, eh, we are and we're not. So we've got all the way down here. 
And then we come all the way up here. And then all the way this way. There's our ladder up to our base. And, um, you know, if we're on the map long enough, maybe uh, what we can do is uh, maybe hollow this out one block all the way around again and put in wood, wood or cobblestone. So, uh, you come to the end down here, make a little jump, and we've got a water entrance. And we're not on a multiplayer server, or, you know, we'd worry about trying to conceal that somehow a little bit better. But as of right now, in our little V there, just makes it easy. And we can see exactly where we're at. Now, these guys have been over here making a lot of noise. You guys need to uh, shut the hell up. Now we've got tons of company. See what you guys did. See what you started. We don't need one ladder. So I think we had like 32, 33 gas cans when we started. We're down to 22. Not too bad. I hear somebody walking up behind me. Look at all you guys. Come on. All right, guys. I think this is going to be some more uh, time lamps zombie killing. Are you ready? You got your Benny Hill music in your head? Ready? Set? Go. Well, I was talking about extending that out and adding columns anyway, so that should probably take care of it also. But that is an awful big area up there. So it's very possible that they spawned up there. Especially with the spiders hollering. I didn't see any spikes missing. Like they're beating on the base at all. Oh, and look at there. We've got some stuff ready to pick. Coffee. So I'm going to pick this stuff in the farm, guys. Call the video here. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment if you'd like, uh, like to. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, and I need more room in the inventory. So, as always, have a good time. Have fun. Have a good day.